Okay, now Venu is having a problem on receiving on 001 org. So we will now go on and have a look at it about what exactly is the problem. Fine, let me go on and share my screen now. So he is working on ETAJ actually. ETAJ. Go there. So we'll now have a look at it. So let me go on and log in now. So it's a 001 org now. First of all, what happens? We'll now go on and have a look at the manage inventory org. You go to the setup and organization. You will now go to the manage inventory or you go to the search now. <clears throat> manage inventory or I go to the manage inventory organization. Let me query the 001 or and then the search is there on the right hand side. Fine, click on search now. Fine, go to the right hand side and then make a search. It will be coming and then go there and then click on it. <clears throat> So okay, fine. He was on legality, he was on business, and everything is okay. Nobody has fiddled around on this, right? It's okay. So click on the next one, right? So early, the ledger, the profit center business unit, and then the management business units, nobody has fiddled around because somebody, what happens, will be fiddling around. And then click on next one, nobody has done it. You go there, you know, see operation the master, and then schedule is also operations. So this schedule will now make a check, right? Right click and then duplicate. I will now go to the top, right click and then duplicate. I will now go to the manage facility schedules and then do it now. Fine, click on it. I will now go to the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> Fine, go there, click on it. Go to the search now, Fine, click on it. Manage facility schedules. So I will now go to the manage facility schedules and then query for the operation schedule. So click on search, paste it, and then click on search now. Fine, we are searching for it. And then go there. We'll have a look at now. Fine, click on it. Now. So facility schedules. Fine. I will now click on. Edit now, right? Click on edit and then have a look at it. So 21622 to 101024. Got it now. This is the problem. I asked you to check the dates and then extend the dates. Hello? Yes, sir. This is the problem. Yes, sir. So we'll know first of all see whether the, this is the problem or not. Because I asked you to check the schedule and then extend the dates. Remember? Yes, sir. Actually, the before the date was uh... 2033, sir. Then you reduced it to 24. Uh, actually, after 2033, I have checked the GRN number, but uh, it's also not working, sir. So I have changed it to 2024. Then how it will work? You I just changed it. Uh, up to 10, 1, 2024 only. 1 is basically yes. the date, and then 10th is a month, actually. Fine, it's okay. Fine. Yeah, right. 10 is a month, but it has to work, actually. Fine, anyhow, we'll not see. Fine, write it and then duplicate. But uh, uh, okay, one ten means what tenth month actually. So month yeah, right, is the first so. column and then there's a second column. No, okay. You will now have a look at it. If I click on it, you will now go to what? Click on home icon. It has to be a working area now. Fine. Go to the supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management now. And go to the inventory management. So we are unable to exactly locate this problem because this is a working day only. Fine. Ten one twenty four is a working day. Fine. Now today is a working day only. That's okay. And go to the click on it. Don't go to the place. You go to the inventory management. Now this is not coming because of what happens. The redwood, uh, this thing is now happening actually. So what you have to do is you have to go to the click on the left hand side and then what happens? You go there. I will now go to the supply chain management. Supply chain management. Supply chain execution and go to the inventory management. So if you go via this, what happens? The normal screen will become. This is now modified by a redwood. Uh, what happens? The initiative actually. Now a normal screen is come. Click on it. I will now go there. I will not go to the inventory. So I will not go to the receipts now. Fine, go to the receipts, and then go to the receive expected shipments, and then uh, what's your item number? What is the PO number now? Tell me. Yes, now, one six four. First of all, what happens? It should not be all actually. Fine, you have to change the R. Fine, if it is all, you have to change the R. Fine, click on change R. I'm going to change the R. Fine, zero zero one. Whenever it is all, what happens? I make a change of the R. Fine. Now it is a zero zero one R. Fine, go So you can see the R coming up over here now. Fine, click on it. I will know what happens. Go to receive expected shipments. Tell me the PO number. Yes, 164927. Yes, 164927. Am I correct? 164927. Okay, fine. 164927. Right. Make a search. Fine, click a search. Error now. Invalid. Is it a small S or what exactly it is now? Capital US, sir. Oh, US, you are saying. I thought. Yes, fine. US. And then click on search. So go there is now available. Now click on receipt. Will now make a receipt. Now click on receipt. 
uh, you must enter a transaction quantity that is more than zero actually. Minus more than minus more than quantity. I will not click on the same. So here it is not showing you the quantity as you, zero. Uh, one. Sir, you can do one thing: hmm. duplicate that uh, order. Sir. Ah, right. Click on that order, sir. Duplicate. So uh, it, it is now saying that everything is received actually. Yes, sir. Everything is received. So I will now go to the procurement and then I go to the purchase orders. Now I go to the purchase orders. I will have a look at it. Now I click on it. I'll have a look at it. So you have a receive expected shipments. Go there. I will not take a copy of it. I will not duplicate the order. And go there. Click on it. You go to the manage orders. I will not query for the order and then I will not duplicate. So order number is this now. And then you remove the buyer name and then click on search. Always remove the buyer name and then make a search. Now click on search. Searching for it. Then go, there. go to the select it and then go to actions and then go to duplicate. Now okay? we are duplicating the order. So once when I duplicate the order, I now have all the <clears throat> so the order is duplicated. I go that quantity. So it's a ten thousand ordered quantity. The status is open actually. When probably this must have been received actually. Have you received it fully or what exactly this? Because no sorry, it is the quantity. Mm -hmm. So you go to the what happens? You go to the what happens? I will now click on save. I will now go to action and go to validate. So by validating it, what happens? Everything will be available now. So if there is no errors, what happens? The duplication is perfect, actually. Fine, no problem at all. <clears throat> go there and then have a look at it. So no errors or warning font. I'll now click on the manage approvals and see whether the application developer is the approver or not. Otherwise, what happens? You have to set up the approvals also very properly and then come back with it, you know, because somebody might have modified it also. So quantity is 500 and then the price is 20 because of it's coming. Fine, application developer is coming as such now. Fine, click on submit. Maybe it's, what happens? US 164933 is the order number. 16933 is the order number. So once when you submit it, what happens? It will not take some time for the system to what happens? Approve it now. So you yes. had a problem of receiving actually. Fine. So manage facility schedule is okay. Fine. Because it's the, it's the first of 10th month actually. The month yes, is sir. the beginning. Fine. This is okay. You go to the manage orders. Fine. No, no, 164933. Fine. Click on now. 164933. Mm -hmm. Fine. Click on search now. Fine. Click on search. And then once when it is whatever is open now, fine pending approval. So now go there. Do not take a copy of it. So take copy. It. And then once when this is come now, fine. Once when it is approved, we will now go to the receive expected shipments and then query for this. So click on search now, fine. So once when it is approved, it will become invalidated on 164 and 933 is the one. You go there. 164, 933 is the one. Mm -hmm. 164, 933. Fine, click on search now. So still pending approval. Go there. Zero zero one six four nine three three five. Give it a now. Click on drop down and then make a search. Click on search. One six four nine three three five. Click on search now. It's not coming. Click on it. Click on. So it is now approved. Click on okay. And then make a search. No fine. Click on search. And then no coming. Fine. Click on receive. They're not going to make it. So due date is what fourth of uh, June actually. And what is what is name? So I think I got it. <clears throat> Go there. I will now put some 10 quantities over here. I can click on it. And then uh, click on what create recipe. So while creating a recipe, you are getting a problem or somewhere else you are getting a problem? While creating the uh, JRN number, sir. Okay. While creating a JRN number. When click on create recipe now. I will now see what the problem is. And click on it. While creating a JRN number only, you got a problem. When click on submit. 10 quantities, I am going to make a recipe. After 500 quantities, what happens? Your request was submitted to the batch queue now. Right? Yes, so sir. Something is saying uh, you are also getting the similar uh, results actually. Yes, sir. Okay, it doesn't matter because somebody might have customized it actually. Somebody might have customized it. Fine, go that corner. It's okay, fine. We'll now see whether I can deliver it or not. Fine, click on it. No, go there. So it's not done now. Fine, click on that. We'll now see whether it is not delivered or not. Fine, go there. I'm not sure about the. Whatever. You go to the manage orders and then see, you know, fine. So if you go and then have a look at a edit, okay, fine. We'll not go there. We'll not go to this place. We'll not try to put away now. Fine. Click on the put away. So click on put away. You know how put away now. Fine. So since the receipt number is not coming, I will not query on the PO number itself. I'll not give a tab now. And let me query on the PO number. If it is a standard receipt, it will be coming. Fine. It is not coming at all. Fine. So it's not coming. So that means what? It might have been even put away as. So that means what? There is nothing to put away. It must be a direct delivery. Fine. Click on the now. Fine. Go there. I will not have a look at it. We will not go to the manage item quantities. Fine. 
you know, go, go to the inventory and then look at the item quantities. Manage item quantities. So go to the item. Item is what? Tell me the item number. Yes, sir. One second. Tata underscore. Tata underscore. Fine. Tata underscore. Capital P. Capital P. Capital O underscore. Capital O underscore. 101. 101. Click on search. Yeah, right. We are searching for it. So we have now received 10 quantities. We will not see whether that is coming on our friend. Ah, uh, oh God. Item is not. Item is there actually. Fine. Click on search. Actually, the item is the inbound, sir. Okay. On on hand and then receiving and then inbound. Okay. You know, check everywhere now. Click on search. On hand receiving and inbound. On hand is not showing me. No, see that. It's coming on hand. So 1,520 is now come as an inbound, actually. Can I expand it? Yes, sir. So that means what? The receipt is not processed at all. Yeah, right, sir. So somebody might have put up as a fiddled around on the, uh, what's called, you are receiving activity activity. Receiving is not happening. So in the manage orders, if you go there and then what happens? I make a search again. Now I click on search. So if you click on search, what happens? It will be open. If you click on the hyperlink of it on the right hand side on the view, we can very well see how much has been received actually. <clears throat> Many people are customizing it, and so what happens? We cannot do anything at all. The date is okay. Fine. I thought that initially we'll be having a date on the uh, schedules actually. Fine. Schedule date is okay. And always what happens? You go there and then make it as about 26. Fine. Some higher years you can put on it. So that what happens, you won't get any clash at all. Effective date must be effective. Okay? Category okay, should sir. not be done. Okay? It'll have to be made as a work actually. Category must be made as a work. Okay? So click on save and close. Fine. I don't know whether these are all the problems or not. And now giving a warning, fine. click on this. No, fine. Doesn't matter. Always give a future date on this. No. Category must be work. No. It was blank actually. Some mistakes somewhere here and there. What happens? It will be causing all this problem. Fine. Click on that. You have to only diagnose. No. So go there. Order is there. Nothing is received actually. You know, go there. Go to the item corner. Is not right. You know, again go and then try to receive it. Now, fine, click on it. You know, go there and then try to receive. Now, click on that. Now, fine. Now, again go to the receive. So click on it. You know, go to the receive. Go there. So click on the receipts. Now, fine, click on the receipts and then go to the receive expected shipments and then we will not try to receive it. And that is our number. Well, we made one change there. Now, fine. The year has been made as well. Thank God, not try to receive. So 490 is not showing, right? Okay? It is not showing you show receipt quality, it is not showing only 490. It means what? The receipt date must be within the due date tolerance range. Okay? And somebody has now given a tolerance range also. Fine. It's okay. It's only a warning. We can ignore the warning. Now, this time, what happens? I'll go for 20 quantities. 10 quantities is now shown. There's no fine. Okay? So click on it. Fine. I will not click on create result. So 10 quantities is now shown clearly that what happens? It is now waiting for this. Okay? 10 quantities already received. Okay? Click on create result. So we'll not see whether this goes uh, ahead or not. Click on that. So, so 20 quantities now. So click on submit. We'll now see whether it gets added on. Your request is submitted to the batch queue when somebody is now customizing it. Otherwise, what happens? It will not say there is no coming fine with that corner. Okay, now. Uh, and then what happens? It has been submitted to the batch queue, but uh, no GRN number is getting generated actually. That's the problem. Okay, yes, sir. We'll now make a search now. Click on search. And then you can now see that only 470 is available actually. So you don't worry about all these problems because people are now customizing it. And so because of which, what happens? They're getting all these issues now. Okay. So try to what happens, do different, different things. No, fine. Your plan A is not working, go for plan B and then make one more PO and then try to make a change in the purchase order. No, fine. Go to the place, fine. Go there. I will now go to what actions and then click on edit. No, fine. You know, edit the purchase order. So go ahead and click on OK now. And then once when you're reading it, what happens? You go to the schedules and then change the receipt routing to something else. It is not direct. It will not make it as a standard. Yes, sir. I have, I have checked with the both direct and the standard. Uh, standard. That's what it is. You have to make all the R and D's now. Right? So click on the schedules, right? click on the schedules. And then schedules and I'll now make it as a standard now. It looks like it has to edit. Because I don't know where people have done the customization actually. Because people are writing so many codes on this company. Right? So now what happens is there'll be standard zipped only. Right? And then over zip tolerance, what happens? I make it as null now. Right? All these things, what happens? The yearly zip tolerance day is fine. Don't keep all these things. Fine, remove everything. So those things to be only tested actually. This is close tolerance. What happens? You remove it. Okay? There is no need to enter anything at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's okay. Fine. Go there. This is also what happens. I make it as none and make it as none. Fine. If the order uh, invoice match option is what always reserved and then what happens? I make it as a three way. And that is the best way actually. Fine. Three way reserved is the best one. Fine. Go there. Quant. You know, made all the changes actually. Fine. Go there. Quant. Uh, we'll not see whether this is now going to help us in doing it because it's only standard reserved actually. 
Uh, so click on OK and then you will not submit proper order. So the change order is now going to be submitted. Fine. What is, I will not say test. Fine. Uh, change order. And then I click on submit. By which, what happens here? Another minute now. <clears throat> so we are now submitted a change order now. I will now again go on and query for it. Change order one is not done. Click on the fine. <clears throat> Because it is not going to the next step at all. If you go give a search, you will not find the IE icon coming up. I indicate that what happens, the change order is not pending for approval. So till the approval goes away, the old order is always what happens, open only. So the older original one, fine. With the change order, no, no change orders, it is always open, it is invoked, and then that you can very well receive actually. So once when this is now done, the, the IE icon will go away. So once when the IE icon goes away, what you can do is you can very well do the result of your thumbnail on search. You have to wait for the IA account to go away because the change order has to be approved. We can even set up approvals for this. And now the IA account is gone now. Fine. You go to the receive expected shipments, fine. go to the account. There are no query for it now. No query for it. The same one, fine. Click on search. So when the 470 is now then 10 and 20 are received now, fine. You will not make a reception. Thank you. And then code receive quantity. I will not go for 30 quantities. This time I will not go for 30 quantities. So, give it now. so click on create receipt. You are now going to create receipt now. So everything is okay. And nothing is coming back. So click on submit by which what happens. You must get a GRN number. Your request was submitted to the batch Q1. That means what somebody has customized the results basically. I don't know how to do it now. Right? How to what happens? The process the batch Q is not known to me actually. And if you go on and search for it, it'll be four, minus 30 is 440 now. Right? Click on it, not coming. And click on it. Click on search now. Right? It's now showing only 470 actually. Fine, click on the now. We will now go there and then query on there. What's called? Go there. We will now go to what? Put away and then have a look at it. Now. Right click on the put away. The result number is not known to us. Right? We will now query on the PO. Right click on search. We will now see whether anything is eligible for a put away or not. <laughs> Nothing is eligible for a put away. So, all this is zero. So, don't worry about all these problems now, fine, because people have done some customization. Try different methods and then if it is still not working, go ahead and then check the next topic actually. Clear on this, you know? Hello, Venu, are you clear on this now? Oh God, he has gone for a sleep actually. <laughs> it's okay now? Nah? Got it? Fine. Try yes, different sir. methods and then... Thank you. Sir. Oh, yeah, tell me. Yes. Oh God, your voice is breaking actually. Oh, actually, the network is low. Okay, so, network speed is low. So this is the way you have to diagnose, fine. You must develop diagnostic capabilities and then what happens, do it. And then if it's still not working, don't worry because people are customizing the application to a great extent. Somebody has in, in, uh, enabled some batch queue. Fine. I don't know how to do it. Fine. So otherwise, I would have even tell, told you. And try yeah, in some other organization. If it is not 001 is not working, try in 002 whether it is working or not. Make a check. They might have done only for 001 yeah. actually. Try different methods and then see whether it works or not. If it's still not working, uh, bypass this topic and then go to the next topic. Bye for yeah. now. Okay. Bye. Okay. I will not post this video. Pause Thank it. you, sir. What happens if you watch? Okay, bye. Yeah, bye.